हेलो वेलकम टू टेक पॉइंट फंडामेंटल्स यूट्यूब चैनल टुडे वी विल लर्न हाउ वी कैन रिमूव द अनयूज नेम स्पेसेस इन एनी प्रोजेक्ट एनी सीएस फाइल इन विजुअल स्टूडियो सो बिफोर प्रोसीडिंग दिस वीडियो आई वुड लाइक यू टू रिक्वेस्ट प्लीज सब्सक्राइब दिस यूट्यूब चैनल इफ यू आर न्यू टू दिस चैनल सो we see uh, whenever we creating any project uh, or any program then there are some uh, name spaces which are already included in that project so it uh, might not be uh, it may not be used in the application or project but it, they are still there in the uh, program or project so how we can remove or how how we can identify which are the name spaces which are being used in our uh, applications because if uh, application is very large then it is very difficult to identify which name spaces is uh, used by which method or program in the uh, project so if you see in the earlier version of visual studio then uh, these name spaces are in the same color like uh, dark black but if you see in the latest or new version of visual studio they have uh, identified this by highlighting if uh, your program or your application is using that particular name space then it is uh, uh, highlighted like if you see here this is the name space using system so this is uh, dark black and the if you see this these name spaces which are not being used they are in uh, grayed out right if you see uh, this name space is used here system dot name space but if you see uh, are in this program it is working fine if you remove this name space and try to run this application then you will get a compile time error because this console right this console uh, does not exist in the current context right because this is in this system name space right so you have to pr provide this name space but same if you see th there are a lot of uh, functions or uh, methods we are which we we can use in application but is this is there any way to remove all the name spaces which are not being used in the application if you see the there is a system dot collection dot generic system dot link you system dot reflection system dot text system dot threading dot task so suppose uh, if uh, we have a list suppose that where list is equal to new list of string as soon as you have defined this if you see this particular name space is being highlighted means this is being used in the application right so if you remove this this is again grayed out so this is the way you can you can identify which are the name spaces which are being used in your application right and also if you try to remove these unused either you can go but if suppose uh, there are uh, 10 to 30 name spaces in, in any application or project then it might be possible this is uh, used being here maybe order is different in this name space so you have to go De uh, delete one to one then go to this and delete again this so there is a shortcut way you can uh, remove all the unused name space by using this go and just right click and this remove and start using you can also use this control plus R control G to remove this if you click on this it removes all right but if so it is always a good practice to remove all the 
unused namespaces in the project so uh, because uh, you know that there might be a chance that uh, same method name may exist in multiple namespaces right and uh, in that case you have to uh, it may if you have to uh, provide the full name with that method which you are uh, using otherwise it will uh, create an ambiguity if it uh, this particular method is being called from which uh, namespace basically otherwise uh, what happen it will generate a, a compile time error it might be in future uh, some you are using some namespaces as you will define namespaces and in future suppose someone had added some a method which is same like uh, any existing uh, namespace or library in that case it will create a uh, you can say conflict so it is always better practice you have to use only those uh, keep those namespaces which are you, you which you are using otherwise just remove all the uh, namespaces which are unused definitely there is no uh, impact or performance overhead over this but yes it is a good practice to remove the unused namespaces so I have already created some tips and tricks videos uh, earlier if you go to my youtube channel I have created uh, under this uh, video studio tips and tricks how you can check the C sharp version which you are using and how you can change that uh, C sharp language version in your uh, application or uh, I have also uh, discussed about how you can change the .NET framework version in your application or project so thanks for today this is all about how you can remove the unused namespaces in your application or projects thanks for watching this video please uh, don't forget to like subscribe and share this video